Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching from. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here once again to discuss something concerning what is going on in the world today. But before I go further, I want to address one issue concerning our Nigeria boys who are still practicing courtesy in Europe. I would like to show you guys one video about what happened in France. Our Nigeria boys who left Nigeria, coming to Europe to search for a greener pastures to see what they are still doing here in Europe. Where Europe citizens are living in peace, allowing our blacks to do whatever they want to do, but yet our blacks still take it upon themselves to still be making problems, even this period of quarantine. I just want you guys to watch. Maybe most of you have seen the video, but for those who have not seen it, I just want you to still watch what is going on, what our Nigerian boys did to somebody. Uh, see the I can't cry out here. Can you see? This thing is happening, happening in France, as, as, as I'm telling you now. The courtism. The entire person has now destroyed. Destroyed between the person has. They form, uh, they form rugidity. They don't want to find money. Now Europe, them they will see. Look at what they are doing. This person now where they even come in. Now that person don't know in or out. See now here they for they do something. I don't know. See, just imagine. Can you imagine? Now this my brother. So now they want kill him. Now I don't want to show you face. You see, now, see what they do in house. So. They say they be what's it called? A back cry or so this kind of thing. Look at that. Uh, this thing is happening live in France this morning, as I'm, te as I'm telling you now. Courtism, look at what they just did now. See? The first person, though, look at. Can you see? Nigeria. After now, say the leader, the leader. The leader is not the problem we have in Nigeria. The masses, the youth, the color. Courtism, now they kill Nigeria, not be even the, the leader, so look at it. Leader, see, they happen for years. So, here is France, as I'm talking to you now. France, can you see? Some, uh, hey, yeah, people now, they just can't do this one now. They shout our back, our back, our yeah. I will bless you. Can you see? So, the person has. They say that here, yeah, be there, who that? I don't come understand, see. Look at what they just did. Look at that. Can you see? I guess you guys saw that video. Because if something is somehow, how can you leave your country, Nigeria, to Europe for a greener pastures, and at the end of the day, you still end up practicing courtesy, making the people living around you uncomfortable? This is not fair. Please, we should all address ourselves, especially our family back home. If you know you have, especially family back home who have men uh, who have sons, who have uh, their children here in overseas, should please call them and put them in order. Give them advice. Because if paraventure police happen to come into this case and they end up jailing those people for like 20 to 30 years, then what is your benefit? What is your benefit? Then you end up putting your family back home in sorrow, giving them pain. They should be happy that you are in abroad, not the other way around. Please, my fellow Nigerians, put an end to this courtesy. And let peace reign amongst yourself. As you do that, may the peace of the Lord continue to be with you all in Jesus' name. Another reason that still brought me here today is concerning the Edo State Government, God, Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki. In my previous video, I actually appreciated you much for what you'll be doing in Edo State. Please, nobody should get me wrong. I am not a politician. I'm not in any politics. I don't belong to any, any of the group. I don't belong to any of the parties. But I'm only just being real here. Because I saw a video that is going on viral right now about uh, Obaseki distributing a sachet of Gary to, to a whole street to share. When I saw that video, I was like, ah, what is going on here? Because the thing is, when you are making a video and you are sure of yourself 
you show your face. I don't know if he showed his face in another video, but the video I saw, the person who videoed that searchet of Gary, the face did not show, which automatically means there is a foul play somewhere. And as you guys must know, Obaseke is one person. He cannot be everywhere. He gives order and people carry it out. And people who carry out this order cannot be so stupid to do that nonsense, to give a sachet of Gary to a whole street to share. They cannot be so stupid to do that because they know fully well one way or the other. One day, Obaseki himself will find out. He gives other people carry it, and maybe those who carry it and may do 60, 40 in order to still put something in their pocket, but not to that extent. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not supporting anyone. I'm just being real. Not to that as extent. And that, as, that time that that video was on air, I saw it clearly in that subject of the Gary. It was written, stay safe and stay healthy. There was nothing like stay at home. Because all that state shut down, but at those states were still going on with their normal activities. Then why the complain? Because movement was not restricted in the those states. People were still going on doing their normal business. So even if a basket did not act at that particular time, you are not supposed to complain because nobody shut you down. Nobody asked you to stay at home. You were still given the opportunity to go outside, to, do, to run your daily activities, to do whatever you are engaged in. It was not shut down. Till this week or Monday that uh, it, was, it is now partially shut. I would say use the word partially. Because you are given the opportunity to go outside from morning to evening and come back home. So now it is partially shut down. You still have time to do other activities that you want to do. To still put food on your table. But that doesn't mean Obaseki should not help. And those state is his state. And it is his duty to provide for the citizen in a time like this. And I also want to use a point to plead with Obaseki and those state governor, please. Secure your state and to every other governor out there to please secure their states. Because this coronavirus we are talking about is moving up and down now, so everybody should stay safe. Obaseki, please secure your state. And especially for the passengers that are coming, all the travelers who are coming into Edo State, should go for quarantine for 14 days. And if it is possible, you can send a message to those transport companies in Benin. The transport companies in Benin, if they are taking people outside Benin, then let it just be they take from Benin to where they are going to. And from where they are going to, to come into Benin. And if possible, before they enter Benin, they should go for quarantine for, uh, for 14 days before allowing them to go to their families. And the, when, the passengers, when, the, when the passengers, any drivers or vehicles that are coming to Benin should take the bypass routes. And they should buy their food stores in where they are taking their vehicles in order to prevent them not to stop in Benin to buy things. Because even if a coronavirus patient touches a money and transfer it to another person, that person can contact if it's not properly protected. Because money, uh, coronavirus, according to scientists, stays in money or stays in object for 72 hours. So please, any passenger coming to Benin should stay safe and make sure they go for quarantine for 14 days before going to their family. And they should buy their food before coming in order to prevent not to stop in Benin City. Because even the missing cost of uh, Abakari is on air moving up and down from one state to another. Because even when I watched the video of that barrier very well, those people who carried the casket, they were not properly protected by the protective measures they were supposed to use, which automatic, automatically means that that casket is already contaminated. And those people, if they did not clean their cell very well, definitely they will contact the virus and end up spreading it around. And end up spreading it around to their families. Please, Obaseki, protect Edo State, especially those coming from, beneath, from north. 
especially those coming from north, should be put under examination, should be put under quarantine, should be isolated for days. Those who are traveling from north to Lagos should pass through the bypass route. They shouldn't be coming to cities now. They should pass through the bypass route and go to wherever they, are, they want to go. Because this is a serious sickness. Especially those coming from east also should take the bypass route for now to avoid the spread of this disease. Because that moving casket now is going everywhere. Nobody knows what happened to the casket. Because I watched the video vividly where blood was dripping out from that casket. I watched it over and over and over again. Which means even the dead body was not properly wrapped. A COVID-19 patient was not supposed to be buried in that manner. It was not supposed to be buried in that manner. And they also made the law that any patient who died of this virus, that government will not release the corpse to the family. But Obakiari's own was released to this family. They made the law and they end up breaking the law. Though I've already spoken about that in my previous video. And especially those in that community where Obakiari was buried. Especially those in that community where Obakiari was buried. Proper precaution should be looked into in that very place to avoid the spread of this disease. And for the travelers, please make sure you take the proper precaution in protecting yourself to avoid the spread of this disease. And I want you guys to watch another video also about the plateau isolating over 80 travelers to cut the spread of this virus. Governor Nassau El Rupai of Kaduna State has recovered from COVID-19 and has tested negative twice to the virus. The governor made this known in a series of tweets through his official handle on Twitter, that's on Wednesday, thanking God for his recovery. The Plata State Government has quarantined over 80 travelers to curtail the spread of COVID-19 in the state. The travelers tried coming into the state despite the COVID-19 lockdown imposed by the state government. Speaking to Channels Television, the Commissioner for Health, Dr. Ndam Lar, said that those in isolation at the NYC camp in Mangu include the 48 persons apprehended by security personnel in Lafia, the Nasarawa state capital. Defense authorities say troops of operation had their indictment. That is exactly the, the place I want you guys to hear in this place. Prato State Governor is quarantining uh, any travelers who come to their state. Please, at those state governor, God will not vastly you, please also do the same to avoid the spread of this disease in a do state. To avoid the spread of this disease in a do state. And people of a do state, I don't know what is happening. You guys are giving, you guys are giving time to stay at home, to do whatever you want to do from morning to evening. If you know where you are staying is far, then why wait a few minutes to the time to 7 p.m. before you start living where you are to your place? Because I watched a video was sent to me of an accident that happened. I want you guys to have a look. situation at Sopomba Road by Second Junction in Benin City at about 6.45 p.m. as onlookers besieged the scene of the road accident. It was learned that the two drivers coming from both ends of the road were in top speed apparently to get to their destination before 7 o'clock in order to beat the curfew. They said one of the drivers rammed into two pedestrians who sustained severe injuries and were immediately taken to the hospital. This one was coming, this one was coming, okay, that one was on high speed, this one was on high speed, okay, that one was wrong, so that's what happened, so this is knocked two people down, so they rushed one to the hospital and this one is beating. They speak right now, that can't take. 
He won't pass me for that car wash. I call the time I brought, sir. Where this one, the road they go? The road already open. The next thing, where would they climb walkway like this? Now this one, collect up. Now turn this one, draw rich here. Now the time where they give you this uh, coffee, when you make your name, so that hurry, hurry, what they talk about, they hurry, so. Now this one, tell you, now, now the answer tell happen, so. And because of hurry, hurryness, this one will pass, this one will pass, they don't want to be good for each other. When the curfew started at exactly 7 p.m. on Wednesday, the news crew were at Akupava Road, Boba Hill, Adeswa, Upper Mission Extension, Lucky Way, and New Bini, where residents were indoors, except for this lady who said she was arrested. This, that is the video I actually want you guys to see. I don't know what is happening to Nigeria people. You'll be given the opportunity to go outside to do your daily duty, to do whatever you want to do from morning to evening. What stopped you from living on time when you know that the deadline that you should stay outside is to 7 p.m.? What stopped you from living on time to where you are going to? Living on time to your home. Why wait till when the time is almost 7 p.m. before you start going? Please, you people should trade with conscience this time. This is not the problem of government now, the problem of coffee, no. It is your problem. It is your problem. Why will you wait till, that, till, till, till when the time is almost seven before you start living? You have all the whole days to yourself. Do whatever you want to do and go back home on time to avoid embarrassment, to avoid all this accident, to avoid any painful occurrence next time. Please, I beg all of those state citizens, please abide by this rule. It's for your own good. At least no one is complaining of hunger for now. You'll be given opportunity to, to go out and to put food on your table. Please do not abuse this opportunity. When you know where you are going is far, you live on time to get to your destination. And as you do that, may the peace of the Lord never depart from you. And I also want to use the opportunity to appreciate Nigeria Central Police Station in Oba Market. The way they are going on sharing face marks to citizens. I want you to have a look. This is Oba Market Police Station, sharing marks to Edo State citizens. Please, every other police station in Benin City or in Edo State should please do the same. Should please do the same and share because it's not everybody that can afford marks in, in, a, in a chemist or in a pharmacist. It's not everybody that can afford this face mask. If you guys can do this, I believe it will help in reducing the spread of this deadly disease. Thank you all. And as of yesterday, I watched the news in NBC News concerning this US, US uh, COVID-19. New New York City, New York City Mayor B. De Brasher hold a conference meeting concerning coronavirus in US. It's sad that US of all people, the total Corona cases they have in U.S. as of yesterday is 878,274 cases. 878,274 cases. And 49,962 deaths. 49,962 deaths. That is the coronavirus cases in U.S. as of yesterday, 24th, 
2020, 24th April 2020, U.S. has the highest case of coronavirus. And I felt so bad when I heard the man saying that the spread of this disease is confusing. Should they fold their hands and watch people dying every day? No, that they will have to fight with everything they got to bring safety to the land. That is so painful seeing people who have labored all their life dying and they cannot help. That at the beginning, they wanted to close down hospitals. But thank God they did not do that. That nobody was aware that there would be pandemic in this year 2020. He went for that, thanking all the health workers who have put their strength, who have put their strength, their effort in fighting this coronavirus. And this brings me, this brings me to this brings me to, to some of the hospitals. This brings me to some of the hospitals in Nigeria, especially in Lagos, that are closing down. That are closing down. This brings me to private hospitals closing down in Lagos. The reason is I do not know why they are closing down. Are they supposed to be working at this particular time? Nobody expected that there will be pandemic in this 2020. It is their work. They went to school to study hard for this. So it is their cross. It is time for them to show their self. It is time for them to show that which they went to study. It is time for them to show their strength, to show their love to help to their citizens. Why closing down? Because I watched a video, I was like, ah, what is happening to Nigeria people? Lagos State Private Hospitals. I remember most of you have seen it. For those who have not seen it, please watch. It's no surprise that some patients with COVID-19 get into private hospitals. By now, most people are familiar with the name First Cardiology Consultants Hospital, where the late chief of staff to the president is said to have received care. We are not shut down. True, the chief of staff was here. It's on the other end of the hospital. You can see it's at the back end. Uh, there's a separate entrance, and uh, that's where we set up for COVID patients. Anybody can walk in and be seen, but because of the COVID situation, we... Uh, advise them to make an appointment because we don't want the waiting room crowded. It's not the only private hospital where a patient who exhibits symptoms consistent with COVID-19 infection has been treated. The truth is this, in a couple of weeks, every hospital is going to have I think our search is just beginning. So asking hospitals to shut down just because they're treating COVID patients, then what happens? Another COVID patient comes, you can't open up again? No. <laughs> St. Nicholas Hospitals had issued a statement announcing the shutdown of its Lagos branch due to exposure to COVID-19. The clinical director of the hospitals confirms it was exposed. The contacts of the patients were traced by the NCDC, who I must confess have been doing a fantastic job. And the doctor who was exposed was contacted and asked to go and self-isolate. Subsequent to that, some tests were done from others who had been exposed to this patient. And it turned out that one of our staff also turned out positive. The reception is certainly not as busy as it used to be. Even the chairs, spaced out as they are, are empty. Pending when we can decontaminate the hospital, which incidentally has been done. Pending when we can screen all potential other contacts, which are, we've also started doing. It probably might be best for the safety of our staff and our clients that we stop seeing new patients. Our next stops are the Premier Specialist Medical Center at Victoria Island, Vedic Life Care at Lekki, and Palin Memorial at Ikeja.
Behind me is the premier specialist medical center where security agents tell us there is no nurse and no doctor to attend to us. In fact, a couple has just been turned away because they cannot be attended to. The security agents say that the hospital has been shut down for two weeks due to COVID-19 exposure. The presence of Lagos State Health officials busy with decontamination at the Vedic Life Care premises tells a story of exposure to COVID-19. After several tries, a workman in Palin Memorial... In That's exactly what I want you guys to see. Why are they closing down? Aren't they supposed to be working at this time? Are their hospitals not, to be not supposed to be equipped with equipment in case of anything? This is the time that doctors and nurses in Nigeria, in Lagos State, should rise, should rise up on their feet and fight for their citizens. This is the time they have to show love to their citizens. This is the time they have to stand firm to say yes, not the, to, to stand firm and say no to coronavirus. This is the time they have to join their people to fight, not closing down hospitals and running away. Any hospital will close down, their license should be seized from them because they are supposed to fight. Because all these hospitals are not free. Because even when you go to this hospital, they will tell you you have to pay so much to take card even before the doctor can attend to you. Before you before you can talk, see the doctor. The problem has come now. Then why are they closing down? All this private hospital that is closed down should should, should, should be questioned. Should be questioned and, and be put in order. Those hospitals should be open to attend to people that will be coming in. Because if not, this thing will extend to other states and there will be chaos and problems in Nigeria. So the state government should please look into this issue and act speedily. And another thing, and I thank God that the aerofile was tested positive to COVID-19. It's not recovered, it's not negative. If the hospitals close down, or people who are in charge of this quarantine close down, would that not be, be okay by now? So please, all the people involved or anyone who is concerned about this should please look into this matter speedily and, and let uh, the uh, people of Nigeria see results out of this. Because this is time for doctors and nurses to fight for their citizens. Another issue too that I want to, that I want to address on is about uh, the Archbishop, uh, this Archbishop Sanxi Benjamin that was arrested in front of a uh, Chinese embassy who went protesting for Nigeria citizens when uh, China was, uh, was maltreating our people in their country. The man went out to protest and he was arrested that he went with crowd, that he broke the law of quarantine, he broke the law of COVID-19. Was arrested alongside with two other men. And along the line, they were charged, the two men was, was charged each 500,000 for bail, and the big archbishop himself was charged with one million naira for bail, altogether making two million naira. Because he went outside to protest for his citizen, that he broke the law of quarantine, that there was not supposed to be social gathering. And this is the same law that was broken when uh, Abakari's uh, dead body went, when they went to bury Abakari's dead body. So why are we maltreating others? Is the law not supposed to be equal for all? But to God be the glory, he was arrested, he was released yesterday. I want you guys to see the video and what he said with his own mouth. He was released yesterday. Thank God at the end of the day he was released. Because this is not fair. You treat others bad. You treat others, at least everybody is equal before the law. Whatever happens to Peter is supposed to happen to Paul. Why doing all this? You give others the privilege to do whatever they want to do. And you make others pay for the privilege that you gave to others as well. It's not fair. It's uncalled for. It's uncalled for. I'm coming, guys. The, I think there's a network problem. I believe most of you have seen the video. The man was released yesterday, finally. 
after the whole torture, even when he paid that money, they were still asked to bring two shorties each. Two shorties each before they released them. Even after the money, they were still left for days. They were still left for days. I guess a network problem. I cannot show the video now. And another thing, I thank God that that one too is over. And another video too I want to show you people is, like I said in my previous video, Nigeria police should stop harassing people unnecessarily. Nobody wants to die. If you see somebody outside during this period of lockdown, something must have made that person come outside. Because when I saw this video of this woman, I felt so bad. This is a woman who went outside to get some drugs for the, for, the, for the doctor that was sick or for the child. I don't know whether it's a doctor or a son. They did not even ask questions. State. I want you guys to have a look. Flouting the stay-at-home order is demanding for justice and wants Inspector General of Police Abu Bakr Adamu to ensure that her assaulters are made to face the wrath of the law. The victim, Mrs. Halima Abdul Aziz, said she was accosted and beaten by the police officers on her way to get medical help for her ailing daughter at Odori in the war axis of the state. alleged that the officers were aided by other man or war officers to inflict unlawful physical assault on her because they failed to listen to her explanations on her reason for coming out during the lockdown. Meanwhile, the state police command said an investigation has been launched into the allegation with a promise that the matter won't be swept under the carpet. That is the video I want you guys to see about the woman who was assaulted. She went out to get medical help for her doctor. But nobody cares to listen to her. Nobody cares to listen to her. What was she supposed to do? Before anybody can break this law at that, at that particular hour of the day, you should have known that something protected her outing. So please, police officers, army officers, people in charge of this vigilante, or watching people, should please stop this brutalization. Stop assaulting people, especially women. This can't happen in foreign land. It can't happen in foreign land. Stop all this. Ask questions before you start acting. Please, I believe this is, this is a warning or a message to everyone out there. They should please, whenever you see somebody outside, start, stop. Uh, first of all, you ask questions. Try to find out where that person is coming from before you, you begin to act. And as you do that, God bless you all. Before I would drop here, I want to appreciate some of the celebrities who have showed love to, to their citizens, who have showed love to their citizens, to the people around them, to the people around them who is distributing food items and every other thing that people need around them. I want to use this moment to appreciate you. Like in my previous video, actually in my previous video, I thanked Regina Daniels. And for those of you who have joined her also in the queue to contribute things to, to the people around you, Mercy Jones Yokoje, Tasha of BB Africa, Toto DK, Toto DK, Chika Ike, and uh, many of you too, Mikobi, who shared egg for his citizens. Who indirectly is telling you guys like Okocha, Kano Wanko, Joseph Yobu, that he has brought out eggs to his citizens, brought out eggs to the people around. People should buy bread, buy oil, buy beans for them to use, for them to eat. So please, every other person who knows they can help, should please render help to the people around you. And as you do that, may God bless you all. And those of you who are still helping with audio money, God will still bless you all and give you the real money to help the people around you. So I'll be stopping here for now. Please do not fail to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave comments in the comment section. And as you do that, may God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen.